Welcome everyone. Uh, this is the Voice of Hope TV where we focus on giving hope to the hurting world. We focus on relationship counseling. We focus on advertisements or other advertising services. We also focus on uh, entertainment. And for the last one or two days, we've been talking about happy and successful marriages. We've been talking about romantic series. Yesterday, we spoke about satisfy your partner. And yes, I mean satisfy your partner. The sweetness of sex is not just to do it, but it is in satisfying your partner. And so tonight, we are going to look at know how to satisfy your husband or your wife. Yes, it's not enough for you and I just to know that we need to satisfy our partner. It's also important that we know how to satisfy each other. And so our topic tonight is know how to satisfy your husband or your wife. But before you continue, let us pray. Lord God Almighty, Father, our Savior. Father, take full charge of this counseling session. As we go, Holy Righteous Heavenly Father, put your soothing words in my mouth to speak peace into all marriages on the face of this earth. Father, we bless your name in Jesus Christ, your holy and mighty name. Amen. Like I said earlier, our topic tonight is know how to satisfy your husband or your wife. To satisfy each other, you need two things. To satisfy each other, you need two things. Number one, you need communication and love. And number two, you need to know how to satisfy each other. Communication and love must come first. That's why the, uh, in the previous lessons, we were talking about communication and love. We were talking about communication and love. If you have not yet gone through our previous uh, sessions or lessons, I would like to encourage you to subscribe to the Voice of Hope TV so that you go through all those sessions. Communication and love must come first. Always the foundation of everything, the foundation of everything must come first. Yeah? Step one, prepare. <laughs> my, my friends, everything need preparation. You don't just jump into, into something and think that you are enjoying and think that you are you are having fun prepare for sex in the following ways number 1 prepare for sex in the following ways number 1 forgive settle your quarrels before bedtime if the two of you had a quarrel during the day take time to discuss it apologize and forgive one another the bible says when you are angry, do not let the sun go down on your anger. When you obey this verse, this is found in the book of Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26. When you obey that verse, you get into, into your bed knowingly, or rather knowing we have forgiven one another, knowing that our relationship is close. And now we can enjoy each other. 
yeah it's a different story for couples who would not forgive before bedtime they try to enjoy sex but the pleasure is spoiled by the bitterness in their hearts they try if you've not forgiven your partner because of some uh, some disagreements or because of some disputes you had and during the day believe me or not everything that you'll be doing at night you'll be trying to force things you try to enjoy sex but the pleasure is spoiled by the bitterness in your hearts number 2 we are talking about preparation we are talking about preparation for sex number 1 we have said forgiveness or rather forgive number 2 be neat and clean be neat and clean yeah someone says at work the secretaries dress smartly but every afternoon when i arrive home my wife is dressed like an old woman and then another woman says when my husband doesn't wash himself his body smells that turns me off a husband and wife should be careful to show each other i want to be neat and clean when i am with you number 3 remember we are talking about preparing for sex lock the door put a lock on your bedroom door yeah i mean put a lock on your bedroom to- door a wife cannot enjoy sex if she fears that someone may enter the room at any moment number 4 remember we are talking about preparing for sex number 4 undress <laughs> God planned that a husband and wife should enjoy being naked together. I don't think you you, you heard that correctly. God planned that a husband and wife should enjoy being naked together. So they don't need to feel embarrassed. When they are alone in their bedroom, the husband kisses, the husband kisses his wife as he slowly. Yeah? as he slowly removes all her clothes and she does the same for him it's a holy joy for a husband and wife to undress each other it is a holy joy for a husband and wife to undress each other Remember I said that step 1 towards knowing how to satisfy your husband or wife is preparation and so step 2 love play love and I mean love play husband you can help your wife to enjoy sex how spend a long time in love play Love play means taking time to play to build each other's excitement before you enter her. During love play, a husband and wife hug and kiss. They also fondle one another by touching and rubbing each other's body. <laughs> And a woman was complaining saying my husband is too fast he fondles me for just a short time then before i have time to get excitement he enters me men men many husbands make that mistake what a mistake they hurry 
They spend too little time in love play. The husband kisses his wife once, then he immediately enters her. He gets satisfied, he goes to sleep. Because of this hurry, his wife doesn't get satisfied. And he isn't very happy because of he realizes somehow I failed to satisfy my wife. Why didn't she reach the point of feeling satisfied? Because he didn't spend enough time in love play before he ended. It's good to spend time in love play. In the Bible, we find a husband and wife taking a long time for love play. A woman says, I'm talking about the Bible now, because some things I'm mentioning right here, some people may start misquoting me. They may think that I am not an anointed man of the Lord God Almighty Father. In the Bible, a wife says, kiss me. Let my lover come. Taste my choice fruits. These words are found in the book of Song of Songs, chapter 1, verse 2, and Song of Songs, chapter 4, verse 16. And the husband says, your thighs are jewels. Your mouth is sweet. That is found in the book of Song of Songs, chapter 7, verse 1 and verse 9. A man and his wife need to know some things about one another's body. A man's body is simple. He has only one very sensitive area. That is his penis. When his wife fondles it, he gets excited quickly. A woman's body is not so simple. In fact, women easily understand man's body, but many men do not understand uh, their wives or rather women's body. A woman has two sensitive areas. Hope men, you are listening. Men, my brothers out there, hope you are listening. A woman has two sensitive areas. Her vagina and her clitoris. Her most, is, her most sensitive area is her clitoris. The clitoris is outside the vagina. In fact, it's about four centimeters from the vagina. Hope you knew that. Unfortunately, many husbands think that the only way to build a wife's excitement is to put a finger inside her vagina. The truth is, a woman will become more excited if he uses his fingers to fondle the areas, the area outside her vagina, where her inner lips and clitoris are. Uh, during love play, a husband should fondle both the vagina and the clitoris, but especially the clitoris. <laughs> we are talking about how to satisfy one another. Spend plenty of time. Never hurry. A man's body is faster than a woman's body. If a wife fondles her husband's penis for just a few seconds, he gets excited. Uh, excited. His penis gets hard and he is ready for sex. But a woman becomes excited slowly by slowly. She needs about 20 minutes of, of, of love play in order to get really excited and get ready for sex. Therefore, a husband should spend many minutes in love play, even though his body needs only a few seconds. Listen, husbands. Listen, my brothers and sisters out there who are married. Don't obey your natural desires. A man's natural desires tell him, look, your wife is undressing for bed. She is beautiful. Hurry, lay her on the bed. Kiss her quickly, immediately enter her. Ejaculate, remove your penis, and go to sleep. And the results here, the wife doesn't have time to become very excited. And so she doesn't reach the point of feeling, now my sex needs, uh, my sex need is satisfied. Therefore, husbands, do this before you enter your wife. 
help her excitement to grow. In other words, spend my time in love play. And here are some of, uh, of, of the ideas on how to do love play. Number one, love play step A, upper body. A good way to begin love play is fondle your wife's upper body. Upper body means above the waist. <laughs> Unfortunately, some husbands ignore the upper body. They had to fondle her sex organs. But a husband who is a good lover doesn't hurry. He takes time to hug and kiss his wife's upper body. Her mouth, her neck, her breasts. It is see, not all women are the same. Some enjoy having their breasts fondled, others don't. Therefore, ladies, as your husband is loving you, show him where you wish to be fondled. My sisters out there were married. As your husband is loving you, show him where you wish to be fondled. Talk freely and show him what you like. <laughs> eh? During love play, a husband and wife are free to tell each other what feels good and what doesn't. Yes, talk during love play and enjoy it. Yeah. I said love play has some some steps. We've talked about step A and now let's talk about step B. Step A, we were talking about upper body. Step B, let's talk about lower body. After he spends time fondling her upper body, she will move his hand down to her vagina. He can lie near her and put his left arm under her head while his right hand fondles her vagina. As a woman becomes excited, her vagina produces liquid and helps to lubricate it. Sometimes uh, a woman may produce much liquid, other times her vagina may remain dry. If it's dry, her husband should lubricate uh, her fingers with water, soluble uh, lubricants, jelly. You can buy from any chemist out there or with a body lotion. If you use body lotion, buy one that is not expensive. Avoid expensive lotions because they contain some perfumes that is painful to sex organs. Usually, a woman asks her husband to spend a few minutes fondling her vagina and then spend many minutes fondling her clitoris. The clitoris is located at the point where the inner lips meet. Wives, don't just sit there. Don't just lie there. Help your, your husband to find your clitoris. Just take his hand and move it to your clitoris. Show him the, the, the kind of fondling you, you, you prefer, whether gentle or firm. Some women enjoy having both the clitoris and vaginas fondled at the same time. So they ask their husbands to slide their finger into the vagina while the, the, the palms of his hand rubs her clitoris. Other women, however, do not desire a finger in the, in the vagina. They ask their husbands to fondle their clitoris only. It's good for a wife to talk freely. The husband also should talk freely. Hmm? He may say, please fondle my penis. Then after a minute, he may tell her, stop now. I'm close to the point of ejaculate, ejaculating. But I don't want to ejaculate until I get inside you. Then she can let his penis rest while he continues fondling her. Later he may say, fondle me some more. And soon he may tell uh, her again, stop fondling me. I'm close to ejaculating. Now do you want me to, to fondle you? You, here or there? Don't be silent during love play. Tell each other what you desire more. Or less. Hmm? Freely enjoy. 
a husband and wife are free to do anything they like during love play. As part of love play, some couples enjoy wrapping one another's body with, with body lotions. They wrap each other from neck to toe, saving the sex organs for last. They may spend a long time like that, giving and receiving pleasure from entry, I mean before entry. Other couples choose to spend an hour together in, in, in a bath. When they get out of the bath, they may invite him, or she may invite him to open her outer lips and to a look at the beauty of her clitoris, inner lips and vagina. This is one of the joys of marriage. This is one of the joys of marriage. Many marriages are becoming boring, are becoming, I mean, there's no enjoyment anymore because many of us are not being creative. Maybe you were creative one time many years ago and we think that was enough. The joys of marriage must continue until death do us apart. Some couples enjoy taking time to kiss each other's neck, ears, thighs. Yeah? Hope we are following keenly. A husband and wife should never worry. Are we doing this in a sinful way? There is nothing, I mean, there is nothing a husband and wife can do to each other that is a sin. No Bible verse says a husband and wife must not. Of course, it will be a sin to have sex with someone who is not your husband and someone who is not your wife. Don't even think of that. You can confirm that from the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 28. But with your own husband and wife, nothing is sinful. You are free to do whatever both of you enjoy. But don't do anything that one of you doesn't like. During love play, give your husband or wife pleasure in all the ways she or he likes. Tell each other what feels good. Talk. Don't hurry. Take time. Enjoy each other. Yeah? Enjoy each other. In the book of Song of Songs, chapter 7, verse 13, the Bible says, Every delightful pleasure, both old and new, I have served for you. Every delightful pleasure, both old and new, I have served for you. Whether a long time ago you were creative to enjoy sex and to you knew how to satisfy one another, and now you think that that was enough. No, you are wrong. Every delightful pleasure, both old and new, I have saved for you. You have saved it for your wife, or the woman has saved it for her husband. And now, step three. <laughs> and now, step three. Step three. Now you can enter. Yeah? Now, uh, 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 as love play continues, her husband will notice that uh, her inner lips uh, have increased in size. That shows she's very excited and she will realize, I am so excited. I am close to orgasm. Now is the time for my husband to enter me. Orgasm means the feeling of highest excitement. Orgasm means the feeling of highest excitement. When a woman has an orgasm, she feels wonderful pleasure for about 10 seconds. The pleasure begins in her clitoris and spreads to her whole body. When a man has an orgasm, he also feels great pleasure for 10 seconds. During his orgasm, a spoonful of uh, white liquid shoots from his penis. In other words, he ejaculates. After he ejaculates, he wants to stop all motions for at least a minute. Enter at the right time. Hope men are listening and hope men 
are following and hope men are taking notes, enter at the right time. Husbands, you can help your wife to reach organism. How? Enter at the right time. Build her excitement until she's close to orgasm. Then enter. If she's close before you enter, probably she will succeed in reaching orgasm after you enter. Yes. Continue love play until she says, I am excited and I think I'm near orgasm. Please enter me now. To enter, I mean, to enter, the husband moves his body over hers. He does not allow his weight to rest on her. Instead, his weight is on his knees and elbows. She uses her hand to put his penis into her vagina. He must be careful not to cause her pain by entering too deep. She will tell him how deep she prefers. Enter. Then wait one minute. Remember we are talking about how. How. The thing here is how to satisfy one another. Enter. Then wait one minute. After entry, the danger is he may ejaculate too soon. If he is not careful, he will ejaculate just a few seconds after entry. That is too soon because his wife needs time to reach her orgasm. Men, here is an advice that will help you. After you enter, wait one minute before you begin to move. During that minute, you, your, your ex excitement will fall. It's good for your excitement to fall because that will help you to avoid ejaculating too soon. After the minute, begin now you, you are in and out motions. Since your excitement has decreased, probably you will be able to, to continue the motion for several minutes before you ejaculate. During those several minutes, hopefully your wife will reach orgasm. In the areas of orgasm, sometimes... It's her first, or the same time, or him first. Remember, each time you have sex, there are three ways it may go. Either she will have her orgasm first, or you will have orgasm at the same time, or he will have his orgasm first. Let us to, uh, look at each of those three. Her first. It's good if the wife reaches orgasm before the husband. While she is having hers, she enjoys watching her, her pleasure. And then he continues his in and out motion until he ejaculates. Although she has had her orgasm, his motion will not be painful to her. Same time. It's also good if they reach orgasm at the same time. Then they have the joy of giving pleasure as they are receiving it. <laughs> Eh? Sometimes it seems fast. It's not good if he has his orgasm fast. Why? Because after he ejaculates, suddenly any motion is painful uh, to his penis. So he stops moving. Then her excitement may fall. And if a woman's excitement falls, it's difficult to build it up again. What can a husband do if he finds that he has ejaculated before she could reach orgasm? The answer is he can help her excitement not to fall. How? Immediately after he ejaculates, he can begin using his fingers to fondle her clitoris while his penis remains quiet uh, in, in her vagina. Although his penis is not moving, his fingers can help her excitement, excitement to grow. After some minutes, uh, he will be able to move his penis without pain. Then he can continue moving in and out until she reaches orgasm. Talking also helps. When he ejaculates too soon, she may say, please help me to reach orgasm. Love my clitoris with your fingers. Or she may say, tonight I feel uh, no need to, uh, for an orgasm. If you need more orgasm, I'll gladly help you. Then let's fall asleep holding each other's clothes. When a wife doesn't reach orgasm, she may feel unsatisfied. But as she rests, in her husband's arms, that unsatisfied feeling will slowly disappear. 
how to make your sex better. Love your husband or wife all day, not just in bedtime. Don't be self-centered all day and then sweet in bed. Instead, be careful to love your partner all day. Love means talking with your partner like you talk with a friend. <laughs> Some people are very good when they are they're sharing things with their friends out there. But as far as their marriage relationship is concerned, communication is poor. And so love means talking with your partner like you talk with a friend. Sharing joys and uh, discussing problems. Love also means uh, speaking kindly even when he or she has made a mistake. Love also means helping one another by caring for the children together instead of the wife doing it all. Love also means unselfish kindness. Nobody wants to be fondled uh, uh, at, at night by a partner who, who has been unloving all day. But if you, your partner has been sweet all day, how exciting the sex is at night. Number two, how to make your sex better. Control your thoughts. Why? If during sex, don't allow your minds to think about uh, the washing and ironing you must do tomorrow. Your excitement will not grow unless you concentrate your thoughts on the joy of sex with your husband. Number three, we're talking about how to make your sex better. Talk to each other. During sex, both of you should talk. Saying things like, my orgasm is still far away. Please touch me here or there. No, my orgasm is, 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 is starting. It's great. How can I help you? A husband may wonder, does she prefer deep entry or not so deep? How can he find out? Talk to her. A wife may think, I wish to try a new position, but maybe he doesn't want to try something new. How can she find out? Talk to him. After her orgasm, she may say, let's see if we can both have another orgasm. Please keep moving. Or love my, love my clitoris with your fingers until I get another orgasm. You are free to say such things. Why? Because you are married. These things are found in the book of Genesis chapter 2 verse 25 and also in the book of Song of Songs chapter 7 verse 7 to 13. You are free to say such things. You are free to say anything to each other because you are not stealing. You are not eating someone else's fruits. You are eating from your own well. You are eating your own fruits. You are married. And now after entering and you've done all these things and you've you, you, you've enjoyed each other, you've reached orgasm, uh, hopefully at the same time, now step four. You can relax afterwards. Relax afterwards. Yeah? Many wives say, after sex, my husband turns his back on me and goes to sleep. Then I find myself thinking, does he love me? The facts are, after ejaculating, a man wants to sleep. But a woman is different. After sex, she needs her husband to hold her and tell her a few more, hmm? a few more times. I love you. Listen, men, after sex, don't go to sleep immediately. Spend more time telling her how you love her. When she's ready for sleep, yeah? When she's ready for sleep, the two of you can fall asleep together. Correct? Sincere Christian couples enjoy sex much more than half-hearted Christian couples. Why? Because half-hearted Christians are selfish, they are unkind during the day, and that spoils their sex at night. Since your Christians are careful all day to be kind and helpful to their spouses, and, when, uh, and then when they get into bed, it's marvelous, and I mean it's marvelous. Uh, for now, we will stop there. This is the Voice of Hope TV. Kindly remember to subscribe. To view our contents. To like and to comment. And if these lessons are awesome, don't give them for yourself.